You probably already know how challenging it can be to create captions for your videos, but did you know there's an automated solution that can simplify this tedious process into a very easy task with just two clicks? Today we'll show you how you can automatically generate captions in any language and how you can translate these captions into any other language. This way you can download them and upload them to platforms like YouTube in order to reach a much larger audience. We'll start by visiting Flixir.com, which is a cloud-based editor, so you won't have to worry about long processing times or installing any new applications, since everything happens in your browser. After accessing Flixir.com, we'll click on Get Started. The editor will open in our browser with a menu displaying different import options. You can upload a file from your device or bring videos over from different online sources like Google Drive, Google Photos, Zoom and many others. Another interesting option is that you can upload files from devices like smartphones just by scanning a QR code. Once you've uploaded your video file, you can drag and drop it down to the timeline. When your video is on the timeline, you can generate captions. There are two ways to generate captions in Flixier. You can right-click on your video on the timeline and select Generate Subtitles, or you can go to the left-hand menu and click on the Subtitles tab to access more options. You can create automatic subtitles, type in your subtitles manually, or upload an existing subtitle. Obviously, we're going to choose the automatic subtitles option. Here you'll see that Auto Detect Language is already selected, so our AI will automatically detect the language in your video. If your video isn't in English, you can deselect it and select your language manually, but the auto detection works well most of the time. After you click on Start Auto Subtitle, your subtitles will be generated in just a few moments. You'll notice that after your subtitles are generated, a new section appears in the left side menu. Here you can easily correct your subtitles and adjust the timing if necessary. After you've made sure that your subtitles are correct, you can move on to the next step, customizing your subtitles. If you decide that your subtitles will be burned into the video, go to the right hand menu for different visual customization options. Under the Style tab, you can choose an animation effect for your subtitles. Don't worry, you can still customize the font, size and text spacing of your subtitles even after you apply a preset. Moving on, you can use the canvas to reposition and even resize your subtitles manually. For more precise adjustments, you can always use the subtitle menu on the right. Now, if you're satisfied with your subtitle, you can just export the video and it will be ready for you to save to your computer or publish online in less than 3 minutes. But like I mentioned in the beginning, you can also translate the subtitles you generated into any language. To translate your subtitles, all you have to do is select them on the timeline and open the Translate tab. For this example, we're going to translate our subtitles into Spanish. To do that, we'll click on Add New Language, then select Spanish from the drop-down menu and hit Translate to Spanish. Our subtitles will be fully translated into the selected language in just a few seconds. Now we can choose to display the subtitles in their original language, or we can click on the icon that looks like an eye to display the translated version. To download the translated subtitles, all you have to do is click on the three dots, then choose Download Subtitles. This will save them to your computer as a subtitle file, so you can upload them to platforms like YouTube and give your viewers the chance to switch between different subtitle languages. You can also download your original subtitles by going to the Subtitles tab. You can even pick between various formats. That's it for today's tutorial. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Until next time, happy editing!